Well, it is National Meatball Day, and we are celebrating with Zavio's Northern Italian Steakhouse. Mm, it's a great day. You can find yeah. our newest location in Reston, and we find their owner, Steve uh -huh. DiFilippo, Very here well. with us. Wow, He's this brought is so Davios great. to well, Virginia. Before we get started, I have to talk about Rika Vodka, okay? The, <laughs> oh, the greatest okay. vodka in Iceland in the world. So really? I know she didn't say that because she can't, you know, say the you know brand. A certain but brand. It's but the you best are. vodka. We <laughs> we have it in all our Davios, and I highly recommend oh, it. Okay. Really? So okay, let's talk nice. about meatballs. Now, you know, meatballs <laughs> is one of those things that everybody, you just said it to me, everyone has their, you know, grandmother or their father My or father. mother, whatever, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really about technique. You know, we mm -hmm. all use different ways, but I think the way we do it, my grandmother taught me this many, many years ago. Uh, we use three cuts of meat here. We use, okay. uh, so really important to use veal because veal actually tenderizes the meatball. So it's very important. Oh, okay. Pork is for the flavor, adds mm -hmm. a lot of flavor. And of course, we use Kobe, American Kobe beef. So it has a little more fat to it. Uh, huh. And it it's a really adds the body to, to the, for the meatball. So I'm going to go really quick. Mm -hmm. and okay. I'm just going to make it. Now, I already have them set done for you. And I call that the oh, Julia geez. Child method. We have that all ready to go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So what we do is you just kind of get them all in here and you want to mix it up the meat a little bit. And and what we do is, it's very important, this is a technique thing. We use focaccia crumbs and we actually take milk and we soak it. I already soaked the milk in there. And the reason huh. you do that is because it helps tenderize the meat. It's very important to put the milk, milk does. The milk, right. the milk tenderize. Huh. So that's something that my grandmother taught me. And the other thing is you really want to make the mix the night before because if you make it the night before, everything kind of goes together. You, mm -hmm. can, you can make them. All right, and then cook and them right cook away. Them. But they're just not as good. They're maybe like an eight. Yeah, you know? that's really so really yeah, set you really want to set it overnight. It's, it's, hours yeah, to make actually, these meatballs take two days, really, because you two days. Yeah, because you make them, you know, the night before, and then what we do. Well, I'll, I'll tell you that in a sec. So, okay. so then we take <laughs> not all uh, the secrets at once. Well, I mean, it's a little <laughs> overwhelming, you know. I mean, you know, I can't let the cat out of the bag. Or whatever. Uh, so then we take our onions, really important, and you really want to roast the ovens. Like, see how the onions are just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. like, right? Very important. And then, of course, you have to add egg. Okay, it's a couple of eggs right. in there. All right, and then what, another thing that we do is we roast the garlic. Because garlic, if you put fresh garlic in there, it's kind of mm. like bitter. You know, I, I don't really, it's mm. funny. I'm not a big garlic person. I think people think that Italians use a lot of garlic. Yeah, it's not that. true. It's an huh. American thing. American Italians oh. love garlic. But if you go over to Italy, they're not really big garlic people. All right, so hmm. put the garlic the onions in onions red, white? Do you have a preference? Uh, you know, sweet onions. I mean, yeah, just sweet, sweet. sweet onions, I think, you know, add to it. Uh, and of course, we really important to use fresh herbs. We don't use any dry herbs at our restaurant. So uh, right in here, there's basil, there's oregano, parsley. Really important. You know, dry um. herbs. You know, back in the day, you had to use dry herbs because you couldn't get fresh herbs. But you really don't need to do that anymore. No. All year long. And of course, salt and pepper. Yeah. Really important. And this thing, this is something that I think is a real good trick. Is we use two kinds of cheese. We use Parmesan and we use Romano. So the Romano has that mm. kick to it. You know, it mm. gives it like really bang. And then the Parmesan yeah. has the, the really fruitiness. So that's really important uh. to use that. Do that. And so that's the mix. We mix them around. Okay. And now you know, just do it by hand. It's really, really easy. Okay. And you know, I can sit here for a few minutes and mix it. That was always my favorite thing as a kid, with yeah. whether it was meatloaf or meatballs, like getting in there as a yeah. kid. And so get your yeah. kids involved. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure vegetarians love to get their hands into the meat. <laughs> right? Okay. Just, you just can't wait so to touch this meat. I try to make things yeah. for my husband at home, and I'm always like, oh, the chicken. Yeah. Well, my sister, my sister's a vegetarian, and when she makes it, she's like, you really have to use the veal, Steve. You really? I said, no, you really have to. Okay, so <laughs> that adds to it. I think it really does. Okay, so this is another thing. So we make the meatballs. Now, the old way, people would take a pan and they would put them on a pan. Huh. I don't like to do that because I think that it gets so much oil in there and it's just not as healthy. Mm -hmm. I like to put them in a sheet pan in the oven. Oh, you know? nice. So oh. they cook more evenly. Yes. Uh, it's much more healthier, if you can <laughs> yeah. say that. Uh, yeah. And that's something how we do it. Uh, let me I just can get smell away. that. That yeah. smells that smell amazing. Oh, so, the so, so the other thing is after we cook them, this is a really another technique thing that we do, is, is we cook them in the sauce for three hours. You take them out of the mm. oven and you put them in a sauce in a big pot and you cook them for three hours. So that actually makes wow. the meat so much more tender. They just fall apart. I mean, yeah. I know, wait till you try these things. They're absolutely incredible. And that's- I'm ready. Here yeah, we go, ready? Chris. Ready. Yeah, what's right. the right size of a meatball? Well, these too. are four that's ounce meatballs. Okay. Uh, let's say started at four ounce, but they're a little bit, I mean, you just- yeah, Oh, that's good. a meatball. Yeah, this is a meatball, all right. <laughs> that is a meatball. It's like, what else was I making? And of course, the San Marzano, <laughs> you know, we use only San Marzano tomato sauce. So we actually use oh. these, these are amazing tomatoes from Italy. Is cheese okay on cheese top? Yes, top, absolutely. Okay. By the way, you have to check out their newest location. It's in our area in Reston. It's right by the Wheelie Metro yeah. stop. 
go check it out. Thank Try the meatballs you, for yourself. You're welcome. Here, ooh, it's steaming. Ooh, yeah. is it hot? But they're so soft. They're so yeah. flavorful. Oh, that's delicious. Right? It's good. And it's because of the process. You have to do all those little Take things that, that we talked about. And by the way, the recipe is in the book. Thank you. Know, I wrote you. a book. It's all about the oh, guests. Oh, perfect. Uh, so if anyone wants the recipe, well. just grab our book and Thank you. There you go. Appreciate, Appreciate it. These are delicious.